New York Giants fans, what is going on? You are watching New York Giants now by Chat Sports. I'm your host, Marshall Green, and we have some breaking news to get to. Daniel Jones is out this Sunday against the Miami Dolphins. I put it in air quotes because he, because he has not officially been out, but he is expected to sit. No official wording. Once there is, we'll be back with another video. But Tom Pelissero, he was on the news first. He said this, Giants QB Daniel Jones suffered a strained neck early in last week's win over the Philadelphia Eagles, and his status is TBD for Sunday's game against the Dolphins. He then followed that tweet up minute, minutes later with this one with a little more information that hurts a little bit more for all of us New York Giants fans. He said this, QB Daniel Jones is considered weak to weak because of a neck strain and backup Mike Glennon, a.k.a. Neck Glennon, is now expected to start Sunday against Miami. Sources tell me and Rap Sheet. Rap Sheet then quote tweeted that. Gave his two cents. He said this. Daniel Jones is insanely tough. Injured on the second play last week against the Eagles. It was a zone read play where it was a keeper. He slid, got a hit a little bit late, and now he's got a neck strain. He played through it during the game and the victory, but now, according to Ian Rapport, Mike Glennon is in line to start for the New York Giants this Sunday against the Miami Dolphins. Pretty unfortunate for every single New York Giants fan. I'm pissed off. I know you are too. So get in the comments and sound off. If you want to use more than one word, feel free to. But let me know. What is your one word reaction to the Daniel Jones injury and the fact that he might miss the Week 13 matchup versus the Finns? My one word is WTF. Everybody knows what that means. And I know it's three words. But guys, when it's your show, you get to break the rules. And I'm pissed off and I didn't have a better word to use than what the fuck. I am pissed off about Daniel Jones being hurt because it seems like he always has a nagging injury. Last year he had to miss time and Colt McCoy played. He got hurt versus the Cowboys earlier this year. And Nett Glennon went and came in and he played all right. But the Giants, no doubt about it, are going to miss Daniel Jones this Sunday, if he does not play against the Miami Dolphins. He has had an okay season. That's what I would classify it. Just okay. Completing just under 65% of his passes, almost 2,500 passing yards, just 10 tutties and 7 interceptions. He has been okay as a starter. Hasn't been great, hasn't been terrible, but no doubt about it, the Giants will miss him this Sunday if he's not able to play. And guys, this is why you subscribe. I got our Raiders report host Mitchell Renz looking at me because that is what I say when it comes to breaking news. I guarantee you we are the first video up on YouTube right now diagnosing and assessing the Daniel Jones injury news and that's why you hit that big red button. When news breaks, when trades happen, when people get cut, we are the first channel on YouTube breaking it down and we are proud about that. So if you want to stay up to date on everything surrounding the New York Giants, go down and hit that big red button. The last time and the only time Mike Glennon has played for the New York Giants was earlier this season against the Dallas Cowboys when Daniel Jones had to leave because of an injury when he got absolutely lit up at the goal line and had a concussion but was able to play just three days later. I don't know how that happens. In that game for Mike Glennon, 16 for 25, just under 200 yards passing through the air. He did have a touchdown, but he also did have two interceptions, one of those being a pick six. He played okay but it wasn't good enough against the Cowboys. But this week against the Miami Dolphins, I believe, and I'm putting my chips, yes, on Nick Glennon, that he will be able to beat the Miami Dolphins. The Dolphins, they are on a three-game winning streak, but they did struggle at the beginning of the year. They are hitting their stride right now, but I do believe that Mike Glennon can do enough to get a win versus the Miami Dolphins. I'm expecting this to be an offensive struggle in a game where defenses dominate. This is a game that could be 17 to 14 or 10 to 7. I don't think there's going to be many points scored and I think that benefits the New York Giants because of the way their defense has played. Over the last couple games the Giants defense giving up just 15.2 points per game. That unit led by Patrick Graham has really been coming around but all in all I think Mike Glennon will do enough and be able to beat the Miami Dolphins if things go right for the New York Giants. I know he's injured right now that being Kadarius Toney but if you're Tony, you got to be happy that Mike Glennon might be throwing around the pill on Sunday because the time you played with him, he targeted you 13 times, you had 10 grabs, and you notched 190 yards through the air, and you had a long reception of 38 yards. Kadarius Tony is an important piece 
on the, in this Giants lineup, and he is one of the most effective playmakers. And the fact that Mike Glennon has shown the ability to get him the ball encourages me a little bit. As long as Kadarius Toney can work through the quad injury that had him miss last week, I do think he will play this week. And if he does, expect a big game from number 89. But let me know. I got a question for you guys. I gave you my two cents. Now it's time to share your opinion. Can Mike Glennon beat the Miami Dolphins this Sunday? If you think he can, go down and type Y for yes. Or if you don't, go down and type your N for no. Today's show is possible due to our great and proud sportsbook partners, BetUS. Head to chatsports.com slash bet and use the promo code chat125. When you do that, you will receive a 125% deposit bonus. So if you go to chatsports.com slash bet, use the promo code chat125. When you deposit $100, they will match that with a 125% deposit bonus, and you will have 225 big ones in your account to bet with on games. If you want to bet on the game this weekend, right now, if you want to maybe try to beat the books now that Daniel Jones is out, out the line is just two and a half, and the Dolphins are favored. I expect that line to go up, and I think the Dolphins will be favored by a little bit more due to the Jones news and the fact that Mike Glennon will probably be the starting quarterback. But remember, if you want to bet on this game, do it with our proud sportsbook partners, BetUS. Go to chatsports.com bet and use the promo code CHAT125 to get a 125% deposit bonus. Due to the Daniel Jones injury, and it was kind of weird. They signed Jake Fromm. It happened an hour before the news broke, and when, it, when I got the tweet and I saw, wow, the Giants are signing Jake Fromm, I looked at some people in the office, and I was like, this doesn't make really much sense. The Giants, they haven't suited out three quarterbacks all year long, and they're confident in their backup, Mike Glennon. So I began to wonder what was going to happen. And then what do you know, an hour later, I got a push noty saying that Daniel Jones is most likely not going to play against the Dolphins this week. Who is Jake Fromm and what is he about? He was on the Bills practice squad earlier today. The Giants, they signed him. He is now on their active roster. And in the 2020 NFL draft, he was drafted in the fifth round by the Buffalo Bills. I have some things I like about Jake Fromm and some things I don't like about Jake Fromm. But what he did at Georgia, his last season there, you can't really hate on it. He did complete just 61% of his passes, which I think is a little low for the collegiate level. But hey, he almost threw for 3,000 yards, 24 touchdowns, and five interceptions. That is a great TD to interception ratio. Ratio, I'm sorry. And the thing about Jake Fromm, he's not going to move the needle. But at the end of the day, I do think he can be a long-term backup in the NFL. And maybe one day when they, the Giants, they lose Mike Glennon, Jake Fromm could be the long-term backup for the New York Giants. I don't expect him to play this Sunday, but hey, if Mike Glennon gets hurt or if Mike Glennon begins to struggle, they might put Jake Fromm out there. And with Mike Glennon starting, I got a test for you guys. Predict the score down in the comments for this Week 13 matchup between the Dolphins and the Giants. I think it's going to be a low-scoring one, but I want to hear what you have to say, so go down in the comments and predict the score for me. Unfortunately, like we've been talking about and why we're making this video, Daniel Jones is most likely expected to sit this week. And now he is week to week with that neck injury. Not a good look for the Giants and not a good look for this offense. I, it has not been an explosive unit. And with Jason Garrett out and Freddie Kitchens in, not much changed on the scoreboard, but the way that they operated on offense did change. And now with your backup quarterback under center, how much can you really change the offense? So I don't expect too much to be different. Hopefully, the Giants will be able to put up points and win this ballgame. They do have some injury news surrounding, obviously, Daniel Jones. But on top of that, Kyle Rudolph, Sterling Shepard, Caden Smith, they all did not play last week, as well as Kadarius Toney and Cullen Gillespie. I do expect some of those guys to be out there, especially Kadarius Toney, and I think there is a good chance that Sterling Shepard will will be able to play, which is big. The Dolphins injury report, injury report, Trill Williams, he's been dealing with an injury. What an awesome name, Trill Williams. Then Adam Shaheen and Brandon Jones are also dealing with injuries. Let's circle back around to the news of the video one more time. Tom Pelissero, he had it first. He said this. Quarterback Daniel Jones suffered a neck strain last week in the second play of the game against the Philadelphia Eagles, and his status is TBD for Sunday's game against the Miami Dolphins. Backup quarterback Mike Glennon, he is expected to start Sunday against the Miami Dolphins. 
get your get your uh, thoughts in the comments. I know we asked it earlier, but this is your chance once again. I want a lot of comments on this video, and I want to take the pulse of you guys watching. So get down in the comments and let me know how you're feeling about the Daniel Jones injury news. And if you want to find a way to be updated every single time a video comes out on New York Giants now, hit me up on Twitter because I'm always tweeting out videos as soon as they go out, and that can be another way you can stay in tune on what's happening at New York Giants now. And I'm trying to up my Twitter followers, and I strictly want them to be New York Giants fans. So if you bleed New York Giants blue, which I assume you do, and that's why you're watching this video all the way to the end, I appreciate it. And give me a follow on Twitter at MarshallGreen underscore.